Hi again. So I'm in my basement in front of my seed starting station and today's project is a little bit different. I'm actually setting up the Christmas gift that my husband gave me, which is a worm factory. I know what you're thinking, super romantic, right? <laughs> well, a worm factory is used for vermicomposting. You're probably more familiar with the traditional types of composting which are done outside, which is cold composting and hot composting. So cold composting is done when you're layering your green and brown materials together and then letting them break down over time, which can take about a year. Hot composting is when you have those same green and brown materials and you're churning them every once in a while to maintain a temperature of 130 to 150 degrees. That speeds up the breakdown process, but that still typically takes about three to four months. Vermicomposting is letting the worms do the composting for you. One of the benefits of vermicomposting is that your compost is actually much more nutrient rich. 80% of the compost is made up of the worm castings, but then the other 20% is made up of your um, broken down composted material. I've actually used worm castings before um, last fall when I started some fall seedlings in the ground as a fertilizer to help give everything a boost. And one of the good things about worm castings as a fertilizer is that it's a natural material, so it's never gonna burn any of your plants or your seedlings that you use it on. And just by composting in general, you can reduce the amount of garbage that you send to the landfill by 30% a year. So today I'm just gonna get this set up and then I have some worms that I have ordered that are going to, going to go in here. And once those come, I'll get those added and then we'll get this functioning. So to get this set up today, I'm not using all of the parts. This comes with four different trays, and I'll explain how all those work in a minute. But basically, I'm just starting with the base, and then there's what is called the ladder. This sits on top of the base, and if any of your worms fall down through the tray, this helps them climb back up. Then I'm just starting with one tray, and then the lid. There are three other trays that come with this. How the worm factory works is you start with the base tray and then you're adding in the bedding, which I'll explain what that is in a minute, but you add the bedding in there. I'm gonna do that today and get that all ready for my worms. Then when the worms arrive, I'll add the worms into the base tray. Once the worms start working, you're going to be adding trays to the top and then filling with more bedding and food and the worms are going to work their way up the trays and then the compost falls down to your bottom tray and that is where you do your harvesting. Then once you harvest your compost from the bottom tray, that rotates to the top and the process starts again from the bottom. So what I need for this project is six to eight sheets of newspaper and then I need, um, these are my kitchen scraps which are from this weekend, which are eggshells, kale, coffee grounds, carrots, and some banana peels. So really good stuff. I need two to three cups of that. And then this is a block of coconut core. And then I have some shredded paper, um, the rock minerals, and then pumice. And these items all came with the worm factory kit. So that is all I need to use to make the bedding. So to get this initially set up, like I mentioned before, I am just using the first tray. And basically I'm just getting the bedding ready for when my worms come, hopefully within a couple days. So in here, I have two sheets of the pre-moistened newspaper. And this is just creating um, a barrier so that all of the actual bedding mixture does not fall through the holes down into the bottom here. Then on top of the newspaper, I'm putting my actual bedding mixture, um, which is the coconut core, the shredded newspaper, the pumice, and then those rock minerals. Whoops, a little messy. So I'm just gonna spread this around so it evenly covers the whole surface. And then the directions say to put your kitchen scraps in one corner. And again, this is about two to three cups. So that's pretty much it. Now I just need to wait for my worms to arrive. To keep this nice and moist till they get here, I am going to cover it with the other six sheets of newspaper that I've pre-moistened, and then that will keep it all moist until they get here. So hopefully my worms come in a couple days, and then we can add those in here and get this all started. 
Okay, so it's about a week and a half later and my worms have finally arrived. So now I just need to add them into my worm factory. Okay, so there they are. That is one pound of red wigglers. And so in there is supposed to be anywhere from 800 to 1,000 worms. So I got these worms from a company called Buckeye Organics, which is located in Ohio. And I will link that website down below in the profile. I'll also link below the website for the Worm Factory 360 and then also the company um, that my husband ordered it from, which was groworganic.com. So now that all my worms are added into the worm factory, all I have to do is put the lid on and then let them sit for about three days with a light over top. Worms do not like light, so the light will deter them from wanting to exit, which I absolutely do not want them to do. All right, so that's it. All I have to do is check on them in a few days, and in a few months, I should have my first batch of worm castings. And then, once the whole worm factory really gets going, I should have a fresh batch of worm castings every month from there, and that can go right onto my garden as natural fertilizer. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though this project was just a little bit different from the rest of my videos. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like. I'm going to document my whole gardening experience this summer for both my vegetables and cut flowers on this YouTube channel and my Instagram account. So thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one.